loyalty all over everything. He can get with me cause he is a clown. Don't beef with me. So me and 2K now is I told her shorty that she cannot I don't see none of these beating me. One time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Houston Rockets. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. DA, take it away. Hey, Kevin. You may recall that in 2014, the Spurs played maybe the three most perfect games in finals history. With passing and three-point shooting, they vanquished the Heat and inspired a new wave. Brett Brown, who was then a Spurs assistant, said Greg Popovich had a name for it, summertime. As in, the game's flowing, good shot's a great one, and there it is, it's summertime. Kevin? That's a terrific story. David, thank you. Here's a look at some of the stats for Christian Wood. And, and guys, I think the grind of the season is catching up with him a little bit. It, it comes across in his rebounding numbers. Over the past five games, they've taken a tumble. He seems to be wearing down a bit. Maybe tonight, though, he can get his legs back under him. Here's the starting group for Houston. We've got Wood all out there with Victor Oladipo. Then it's P.J. Tucker, and it's Tate in at the three spot. And for the Spurs, DeRozan out there with LaMarcus Aldridge. Then it's Johnson. Then there's DeJounte Murray. And it's Walker in at the two-guard spot. You know, I always think about the first-year players, Clark, when it's this early in the season. There must be a lot going on in a rookie's head during the first few NBA games they play. Hey, Kevin, no doubt about it. I think back to my rookie days long years ago, man, and I was so excited, thrilled to be living a dream. But the games come, the traveling, the practices, the game plans. Yeah, it feels like you're drinking out of a fire hose sometimes. The San Antonio Spurs able to put the first points up on the board. Oladipo for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, you know, John Wall is so masterful as a floor general. He's a real maestro out there. Terrific at finding the open guy on time and on target. Now, here's DeRozan. Looking at the numbers, he's averaging about 20 and a half points a game. Here's Wall. No good on that one. Murray with the defensive effort. Here's DeRozan, and DeRozan throws it down hard. Well, I tell you what, DeRozan really packs a punch now. He's an explosive athlete with really good strength. I mean, he's got great size for a backcourt dominant score. Here's Wood, turned in an outstanding game against San Antonio. And he likes to get in a rhythm early, nice triple. Murray surveying the D. Johnson, the pass to Aldridge. From 12 feet out, buries the jump shot. You know, you look at the mid-range game Aldridge has, it keeps the defense honest. They have to worry about a lot more than just this post game. Greg, LaMarcus Aldridge taking more three-pointers last season, easily passing his career highs in attempts with almost three a game. And Aldridge shot a very respectable percentage from outside. In order to play heavy minutes at the four, you need to be able to shoot. Good to see Aldridge still adding new wrinkles to his game. From D, Walker, and a great assist by Aldridge as that one goes in. 
And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Wood with the bucket. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Out to the right wing. The wide open look here for Holdridge. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Ball with it. He's picked up by Walker. Here's Tate. Misses the three. Spurs trail by three. Puts up a three. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Oh, trying for it. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. Left side, DeRozan. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh man! Check out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect the shot. And Murray's got the ball here for San Antonio. They trail by one. Last time they faced off, it was right here at home where they couldn't get it done. Well, they were on the wrong side of a very close matchup last time they met. But what a great game. And in that game you mentioned, it was a great game. The reserves played a huge role. And the Spurs with possession. The Rockets making the shot. Shots good by Walker. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Wall, and the basket is good. And in the post, Wall's got a pretty well-developed game for a point guard. He can navigate his way through the big bodies with very few problems. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That is his first foul of the game. So both teams making some changes here. Now here's Game, guarded by Tucker. Here's Mills. Wall with a block. A stellar all-around defender. Wall enjoys rising up and denying shooters. Gordon kicks to Nwaba. Well, it was the San Antonio Spurs in their last game. A loss to the Rockets. You guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable, and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. Here's Gay. Cousins pulls it in. Rockets leading by three. Here's Nwaba. Nine points last game. Pass to Gordon from deep. No good on that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. Down low from 11 feet away. It's good. Well, I love seeing Gay go right up with the shot off the pass. No wasted motion. Here's Wall. And Wall with the slam. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was definitely automatic. Here's Mwabak. He dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Mills with it. He's picked up by Wall. Here's Vassell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Back to game. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You're looking at the list of the NBA's top shooters from behind the arc for the past month. Oh, you look at Tucker, third in the NBA. He's someone that, if you leave him alone, he's going to knock it down. Sometimes a three-point shooter gets into that rhythm and, and just keeps carrying it over. That's been the case for him the entire month. Lyles checked in for the Spurs. Sterling Brown is checked in for the Rockets. 
And McLemore comes in for John Wall. Mills looking it over. Driving the lane. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Nice shot by Pirtle. There's 38 seconds left to play here in the first. There's McLemore. Takes the 12-footer and hits. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. Rockets leading by seven. Gordon, the pass to McLemore. Mills with the rebound. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Driving in, and the rejection by Cousins. Cousins not one to be challenged there. Tenacious denial. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Five seconds left to play in the first quarter. And they'll keep possession. And so it's the Houston Rockets. Heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. From beyond the arc, they've been absolutely tremendous. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Houston. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. Also, what passing we've seen from them here early. I mean, there could be a big number in the assist column if this keeps up. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for Houston. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. So on the floor for Houston. They've got Christian Wood. Ben McLemore is out there with Oladipo. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Brown in at the three. Walker's shot is off. Houston's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three-ball here. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Cousins getting the full enchilada there, folks. Got the hoop. And the harm. Great poise and agility to get it up and down. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. That one misses for Cousins. Greg is a point guard. You must have had so much fun being surrounded by so much terrific talent at UNLV. You know, Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman. I mean, I could go on and on. And you're right. I was blessed to play alongside these guys. They were incredible talents, finishers. And, you know, you don't always appreciate it going through that moment, but sure. the fact that we're all still close and we stay in contact, uh, man, what an awesome experience to be a part of that team. Chemistry must have been off the charts on that team. It, it was, and, and we had a lot of personalities, man. It was a different era back then, uh, but I tell you, again, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. Murray, the pass to Walker. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Houston. And Oladipo, here we go. That shot misses. Good D by Johnson. Spurs trail by 10 to the inside. Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. Boy, Murray showing you he can play above the rim. This guy's got major bounce as he punched that one down. And Oladipo kicks to Wood. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. San Antonio making a switch here. DeRozan's checked in. And just an emotional return from injury for Oladipo last season. He missed over a year due to that knee. And just great to see the young man back on the floor. 
Oh, it sure is, Greg. I mean, it didn't take long for Oladipo to show he's still an outstanding player. I mean, he means so much to this team when he's healthy. His energy is infectious, and he's a big-time playmaker and shot maker. It's really hard to miss a full year, but I tell you what, Oladipo did not look rusty for long. Here's DeRozan following the basket by John Wall. Stolen by Tucker. And he drives in. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Boy, Tucker, perpetual motion. Nice job that time by him to stay active, making sure the offense doesn't get stagnant. Spurs trail by 15. Pass to Johnson. Walker taking his time here. Left side, DeRozan. Shot clock at six. The three from Johnson. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Boy, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three pointers in the first quarter. To the middle. And the dunk by Aldridge. Boy, at 6'11", Aldridge makes this look really easy. All he needs is the right positioning, and it's over. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Now, we have seen continued growth with the NBA's affiliated league the last few years. Think about the explosion in popularity of the WNBA, the Basketball Africa League, expansion of the 2K League, greater pay in the WNBA, and the G League pathway along with the unionization of G League players. The league continues to show its commitment to expanding opportunities on multiple levels. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Now here's Murray. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And the shot goes in. You know, that's one thing, guys, Murray's never afraid to do. Lean in, draw contact, and put the defender in a bind. Here's Wall, and Wall slams it home. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. And why not? A little salt in the wound. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys reeling and on the ropes. Here's Walker following the score by Houston. Johnson outside. Now the pass to DeRozan. Shoots over Tucker. It's blocked. A rare rejection that time from Tucker. Using that long reach, though, and times it perfectly. Here's Wood. And finished off by Wood. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. checked in let's now go to the 2k leaderboard to look at the teams that specialize in intimidation here are the real stats real scores from the real nba in second the rockets i mean terrific rim protection i mean they rotate and help on the inside as well as anybody and of course you want to keep offenses on the outside shooting jump shots and that continues to be the goal but they recover it and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. And a look here now, Kevin, at how the Rockets are stacking up as we get this season underway in the NBA stats. 
And, and how about that sky-high ranking in terms of blocks per game? Sometimes that can indicate a team's allowing too many drives to the rim, but it's sure nice to have bigs who can send it away as a last resort. Gordon goes in. Bazell grabs the board. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And here's Gay. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. It's a 14-point game. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. And you watch the Rosen play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position. Can switch directions on the go. Is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Craig, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid-flight to finish at the rim. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And they repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. The Spurs shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season when you look at their free throw attempts right around 78%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys. But it's not a huge drop off, so no major concern. Right side, DeRozan. It's rebounded by Houston. Woods got four rebounds in this game. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. And he's got one heck of a burst on his way to the bucket. Wall is at his best when he's driving the lane, going from zero to 60 in an instant. Hurdle with this screen on Wall. Mills finds Gay. San Antonio again missing. Eight. He's covered by Gay. Wood against Pirtle. And stolen by Gay. He dishes it to Mills. And Mills in the NBA for over a decade now, GA, but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game. And hey, Kevin, with Mills, that end-to-end -end speed doesn't get shown off too often. In the half court, though, he does a great job of creating looks for himself, accelerates off of screens, can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. And both free throws good for Mills. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Wall has hurt him in every way possible tonight. He's got firepower that really only a few guys in our league possess. Now here's Mills. And the rejection by Cousins. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Brown is checked in for Eric Gordon. Now DeRozan. He's coming off a 13-point game against Houston. And it was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. Brown the pass to Nwaba. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. The Rockets on top, leading by 17. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, thanks a lot. John, looks like you're really in attack mode, getting into the paint to get your teammates open. Oh, man, you see it, man. The lane is open. I'm finding my teammates, and uh, they just get those guys open. That's one thing I said I want to work on since my, I've been here. I don't want to just be a team myself, but I want to be a team player. And they're doing a great job of setting screens, getting me open, and I got to just keep finding them and making shots. Take what the defense gives you. Thanks, John. Back to you, Kevin. 
Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a great half of basketball from John Wall. He had 14 points, five assists, and one block. He didn't perform up to his standards in their last game. Tonight's a different story. He obviously has a short memory. Kenny, what'd you think about the Rockets? Well, we're watching the John Wall show. He's playing with reckless abandon, like the defense isn't even there. His competitive attitude is frying up his whole team. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow a way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. An exceptional performance from John Wall. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. So Rosen out there with Johnson. Then there's DeJounte Murray, and there's LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Walker in at the shooting guard position. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Aldridge against Wood, and stolen by Murray. And here comes Walker, leading the fast break. He can't get that one to fall. Houston leading by 17. And Oladipo, here we go, and it's sent back by Aldridge. When Aldridge is in the neighborhood, you've got to be careful shooting it. I mean, proving there that he's capable of blocking shots. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. E emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. On its way from Oladipo for two. Drain for two points. Oladipo's got seven. Greg, I think of you in a New York Knicks uniform, legendary arena you played in. What was that experience like? Kevin, intense. I, I remember <laughs> the first time I suited up in a preseason game. We played the Dallas Mavericks. Both teams went up and down the court three times, and nobody scored, and the fans started booing. And that's when I knew this is a little bit different. Uh, you better bring your A game. And thicker skin, correct? That too, yeah. And fortunately, there was no social media or internet back then. Goodness gracious. <laughs> and really, just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. And the Rockets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. Now here's Murray. He has six. Outside DeRozan. Just four to shoot. And the shot goes down. He has seven. Boy, a fantastic job by Aldridge to lay into that defender on the screen. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. And Oladipo, here we go. Can't connect from short range. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Murray dishes to Johnson. Aldridge against Wood. Aldridge kicks to Johnson. Good, and Aldridge gets the assist. Boy, Aldridge commands so much defensive attention. There's bound to be somebody open on every possession, and this time, LaMarcus finds it. And Oladipo, here we go. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Oladipo's got nine. Guys, I tell you what, feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. 
here's DeRozan. And that one drops for him. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. Well, that's a signature move from DeRozan, guys. Gets up ahead of steam, then finishes strong. Boy, I like that aggressiveness. Here's Oladipo. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And the Rockets lead by 17. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. On defense, the Rockets. Boy, this is where Tucker really makes his hate. I mean, able to defend on ball as well as in help situations. And that corner three, a cornerstone of P.J. Tucker's game. Takes and makes them as much as anybody in the league. And, Greg, how about this little factoid? Back at the University of Texas, he only shot four triples in three seasons. Floor spacing was not a part of his game. It was about getting that thing in the paint. But to his credit, and it's an example for all young players, through hard work, that short corner has become his bread and butter shot. Talk about a total transformation from no threes to being a dead-eye corner three shooter. Here's Oladipo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Oladipo determined that time to get to the basket and forced the defense to foul him by driving right in there. And the first one at the line is good. We know, Greg, the NBA is full of uh, superstars, yet you can foul out of the game after six personal fouls, and some have suggested instead just tacking on an extra free throw when a player commits their six-plus foul, and, and then they can stay in the game. You know, I, I think something along those lines could make sense. It, no doubt it's tough to see the marquee player ride the bench because it's not just the sixth foul, right? In some coaches, you pick up two in the first quarter, you're done for the quarter. You pick up a third and a second, you're done for the half. Yes. So I, I, I would like to see something, but I think it's got to also be fair. Maybe you get free throws and another possession. Uh, maybe something along those lines uh, might be in the best interest of the game. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic. It struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. We all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, GA. Here's Johnson after the Rockets pick up three. Rocket six. Okay, that's a two-pointer. It's rebounded by McLemore. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Count that one. Boy, I love how unselfish Oladipo is. Great at getting his teammates involved in on-time, on-target passes. And David Nwaba picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Brown is checked in for the Rockets. Ball comes in for Oladipo. Shots good by Mills. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Drops in the tray. waba has got 12 in the game. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Offensive rebound. Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. And Pirtle is always, always a threat to come away with offensive rebounds because of his size, but just as important, his timing. Spurs trailed by 19. Here's the sound. They double him with Walker. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And he makes both free throws. There's 37 seconds left in the third. Here's Wall, and the slam dunk by Wall. 
and always a bonus to have a point guard who can dunk the basketball. Wall has great initiative when it comes to rising up and throwing it down. Hills with it. The kick out to Aldridge. Pass to Vassell. Over McLemore. They get it back. Here's Pirtle. San Antonio again missing. Waba passes to Brown. And here's Wall outside. There's the versatility of Aldridge disrupting the shot, showing how valuable he can be at the defensive end. And so it's Houston taking a 19-point lead into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We've got more in store for you right after this. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. That's right. I mean, that's not his primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, he can do it and does it well. Happy and one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the floor for Houston. We've got Brown. E.J. Tucker is up there with DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Gordon, and it's Wall in at point guard. Now here's Gordon following the miss by DeRozan. And Wall kicks to Gordon. Three-pointer. Rebound San Antonio. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Oh, the lob to DeRozan, and DeRozan throws it down. Well, you throw it his way, and DeRozan is going to capitalize. When he takes off, he's looking to throw it down with no hesitation. And the basket by Gordon. Great pass. John Wall is really good at finding the open man. Spurs trail by 20. Pass to Pirtle. Gay trying to break free. And Pirtle gets it to go on the assist by Murray. Boy, got to respect Pirtle's aggressiveness. Putting it on the floor and getting the job done on the drive, that's big time. The kick out to Wall from outside the arc. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got nine rebounds now tonight. Pass to DeRozan. The feed now to Gay. And the jam by Rudy Gay. Yeah, and Gay can certainly slam it home. Got to keep this guy away from the rim or he's going to posterize you. And Wall with the slam. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Brown with it. He's picked up by Walker. From deep, Wall. DeMar DeRozan grabs the board. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Spurs. They trail by 18. Nobody near Gay. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. This is something Gay has steadily improved on over time. A dangerous shooter from beyond the arc now. Johnson, he's checked in for Jakob Pertl. And the Rockets making a change here. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Here's Johnson. Sweet little floater. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. The pass to Tate. At the wall. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. 
Spurs trail by 13. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Murray, good. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Ball and stolen by Gay. Inside, here's DeRozan. It's over Tucker, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. You know, I don't know how many guys have bitten on DeRozan's pump fake over the years, but I do know it's a bunch of them, and because that fake is so good, it's a weapon for him. And he knocks down the first one. He's off on the second. Boy, DeRozan is a treat to watch. This guy is athletic, and he throws down some monster dunk. This dude is sick at the rim. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. So it's the Rockets now, following the shot by Rudy Gay. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now, DeRozan gets the bucket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Wall passes to Gordon. The kick out to Wall. Some nice passing there by Houston. Wood finds Wall. All he's going up for the alley-oop here. Wood can't hit. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Take a look at the new balance player of the game, John Wall. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. If he could only contribute like this for them every night, you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this. And on the road, no less. He takes it in. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Rockets. They've been penetrating with a certain amount of ease, guys, just as much in this half as the first. Well, it's been a super performance from beyond the arc, too. I mean, they've been reining in those threes. Mills, he's checked in for DeJounte Murray. And that one falls for Wall. Well, the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions uh, that give you some rim protection but obviously that can also shoot the basketball and you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well to when your team's in a bit of a funk somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire good point now here's DeRozan following the miss by John Wall puts it up from 15 and too long on the shot Houston leading by 11 Here's Wood. Good for another field goal. Number five in the night. Five for ten shooting. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. The insane athleticism. Wall really lets it all hang out when he rises up with the alley-oop. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Spurs. 
Passes to Aldridge. And they get it. That shot, no good. And it's Houston the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Outside, Wall. Pass to Wood. Here's Oladipo. That's good again. His seventh basket. Seven for ten from the floor. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Rockets. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year. Actually, their fifth win on the year. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for John Wall. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. Now here's Johnson. Nice tee from Oladipo. Walker against Wall. Kicks it to Oladipo. Here's Tate. DeRozan with the rebound. Here's San Antonio. 17-point game. There's the drive. The three from Johnson. Wall with some nice D. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Ball's knocked loose. And here's Walker. Here's Aldridge. And Aldridge slams it in. Yeah, he's so adept at finding a way to score, even against tough defense. Aldridge is a low. Here's Jones from deep and the miss. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Victor. You've been really playing well on offense of late. What's going right for you at that end of the floor? Patience, man, experience, um, belief. Faith, all the above, man. Uh, just coming out here working on my game. I'm just going to continue to keep growing, continue to keep staying close to my teammates, continue to keep working hard, and continue to keep getting better. That is a crowded locker room with all those things in there. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.